Welcome back, fans, to Banjo Kazooie for the Xbox Arcade. My name is Andy Formal, and it's time to start the show. I said, there we go. Welcome all, Grantee's the name. Banjo's here to play my game. My lair is done, and here he stands. Through all my tricks and traps and lands. This final test will see me win. When Banjo fails, then I'll be thin. The prize is on the stand bring joy. From Tutti down to Cuddly Toy. My little quiz will make you sweat. And Tutti you shall never get. Cause somewhere soon along the way, your lack of skill will make my day. Cause in the fairy pit you'll go, and I'll win the prize on show. So step on over to the square. Press A to try it, if you dare. Oh yeah! <laughs> we got a board game. I wish more games had this, but first, Warp Cauldron. Okay, so we have to make our way over this game board to Gruntildo over there. A little answer's all I seek about this game. You furry geek! Yeah, this this could be a challenge. Treasure Trove's got Captain Blubber. What's wrong with that sobbing lubber? He wanted a drink. He couldn't remember his name. He lost his gold. There we go. The blue ones are general knowledge about the game. Alright, Grunty, explain this one. A visual challenge, stupid bear, to tell me who it is, or where. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? Oh, that's the kitchen from the ship in Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm pretty sure this part must mess with speedrun or something awful. Hear the crowd, they boo and hiss, to see you fail, or they would not miss. Okay, these ones here are questions about Gruntilda. I think it's time, so let me see how much you know of little old me. Basically all those little hints that Gruntilda's been telling us throughout the whole game, this is where they come into play, and I've taken a note of none of them. Here we go. Guess this right, or you may lose. What's the only colour I'd choose? It's ghastly grey, isn't it? Yes! <laughs> That's a secret! How do you know? Did my sister tell you so? Oh yeah. In Monster Mansion you can creep, but what wakes the ghost from his sleep? Banjo hits him with a plank of wood. Banjo sets off his alarm clock. Banjo treads on the creaky floorboards. That's our answer. These are all random, by the way, so... <laughs> I hope you guys have been studying. Prepare yourself to take a whack. Pick this test. You won't come back. Mm, could head for that Joker square over there. Oh, God. No! No! <laughs> Watch the turtles singing the song! <laughs> oh god, no! Oh, oh dear. Oh god, we're timed as well! Oh crap, uh, okay, uh, you! Then you! Is the exit sealed? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, frig, 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 frig! Purple! Blue! Pink! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Alright! I'm feeling good today, guys! 
Here's a character from the game. Do you know the dumb thing's name? <laughs> I sure as hell would hope so. <laughs> Lumpy Dumpty, Mumbo Jumbo, or Namby Pamby. <laughs> On treasure trove, there is a boat. What's its name? It doesn't float. It's called the Salty Hippo. The Wobbly Whale. <laughs> Sweaty Rhino. A question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make my day. Listen up, th then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's Nab Nut the Squirrel, isn't it? <laughs> Conquer the Squirrel. Naughty the Beaver. Or Nab Nut the Squirrel. It is Nab Nut. We saw him in Click Clock Woods just there. Get this wrong for Grunty's sake. Then a lava bath you will take. Yeah, it's instant death if you get those wrong. <laughs> A lovely specimen in its pot. It's by my bed. What have I got? Oh god, what does she have? A veruca plant, a low loogie bush. I think it's an eyeball flower. Yes! In Click Clock Wood, I have no doubt. In which season is there a drought? What do you think it is? It's summer. Be quite amusing if it was like Trivial Pursuit, where she's deliberately put the wrong answer, or put the correct answer wrong to these. In Click Clock Woods, the eagle's lame. Can you recall the stupid bird's name? It's eerie. We're getting a lot of late game quiz trivia here. Just one chance to get this right. Win a joker and help, it might. Get these right, we get joker cards, so let's pass over squares. Mumbles Mountain is easy for sure. How many jigsaws open its door? Oh, just the one, I think. Yes! Each joker card that you have got will skip one question. That's your lot. Press X to use it. You little cheat. On a square. You get cold feet! <laughs> the energy that you have found won't stop me making duty round. Yeah, I'll try and go for that joker as well. The galley fridge in Rusty Bay, tell me what on the shelves lay. <laughs> Grunty's high fat spread. Red feathers, kazooie eggs. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? It's Woodigat! Ruby the Snake Charmer. Does he actually tell us his name? Well, I think it's a given that he's a snake charmer. Boggy Bear is freezes his clot. How many jigsaws has he got? But let's see, he barfed one out, didn't he? Then we got two more off him from the sledding races. Yes! Nice! See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? Why did it autosave? That's Freezes E Peak anyway. <laughs> I quite like this. More games should have this end game. Bubble Gloop Turtle acquires swell, but what's on the back of each shell? <laughs> a bigger turtle. Pretty sure it's a musical note. These aren't too bad so far. Oh god, I don't want another timed one. Oh crap. 
The name of your game you must spell. Backwards, though, be quick as well. <laughs> oh, frig. Okay. E. Where's I? O. O? Where the hell's Z again? Ah! I come back here so many times, but I can't remember how it's laid out. Z. A. Where's K? K! O. Where's J? There's J. Oh, I think we're cutting it close here. N. A and B is over here. <laughs> yes! Woo! Alright, we're, we're doing not bad here, guys. <laughs> I'm under no obligation to answer that one. Fat Hag Monthly thinks I'm hot. What did I do on the cover of shots? You posed in your long johns. See, Gruntilda's got quite a good image of herself, despite wanting to be pretty. That's good. Yeah, screw you. Your joker misses out a square. Accept the test. You did not dare. You'd better believe it. Uh, okay, I'm thinking we head upwards and right. Oh, in fact, what's the situation over there? Uh, we could go for another joker. You should remember, but we'll see if this is hurt. Where would you be? Inside the giant mechanical whale, inside the walrus's cave, inside the shaman's skull. This is inside the walrus's cave. It's Waza's music. Yes! Excellent. Mambo's Mountain is a thriller. What's the name of the gorilla? Oh, it's Conga, isn't it? <laughs> Wonga. Bloody Wonga. See the picture on my screen? Do you know where you have been? Whoa. <laughs> That's Bubble Gloop Swamp. It's the egg that we broke. I guess they had to re-render it because I'd already destroyed it. <laughs> I really wish I was thinner. What does Grunty like for dinner? That one mentally scarred me. Alright, Joker me. Here's three answers, one you'll pick. What's my amazing party trick? To eat a bucket of beans. Yeah, that's just freaky too. Okay, uh, instant death that way. Yeah, we'll take this. We'll take this route. You pick up items on the ground. Which one makes this silly sound? Oh, that's a red feather. A feather pillow. Listen up now, then make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? <laughs> Jimbo Jambo the Shaman. Humba Wumba the Shaman. Foreshadowing. Mumbo Jumbo the Shaman. I really, really don't want to do this one. A ghostly hand who has a sway in the church. What did he play? An electric guitar. That would have been amazing. I suppose you could also go through this game without ever encountering Cheeto either. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Whoa, where is that? Is that Bubble Gloop Swamp? Yes! Excellent! Alrighty, another grunty question. 
I usually curl up in a heap. Where does Grunty like to sleep? In a pigsty on a, a comfy dumpster. Was it dumpster? I can't remember. Damn it! I want to say comfy dumpster. Damn it! Ow. Grunty's cute, she's quite a dame. What was my first boyfriend's name? <laughs> Undead Ed. <laughs> it's Dirty Bertie. In treasure trove within this game, what is the leaking bucket's name? Mr. Siv. <laughs> Holy leaky! I'll sacrifice one for another. See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? What the frick? <laughs> I don't know guys. I'm thinking Mad Monster Mansion. <laughs> oh wow, nice. That must have been the uh, one of the pipes. Or one of the barrels. That was a tricky one. You should remember, but we'll see if this is hurt. Where would you be? Oh, don't patronize me, Gruntilda. It's Treasure Trove Cove! You don't actually have to be inside it to hear that, but I'll go with it. Now, if you're feeling really cocky, there's nothing to stop you doing the entire board. <laughs> How dare you look! Stop that stare! What color undies do I wear? I can't remember. Is it spotty purple or streaky brown? Nope. Ow. Get more wrong! Yes, that's the way. The crowds are happier today. Let's see if your memory's foggy. What's the name of my pet doggy? <laughs> Is it Ripper? Yes. Listen up now then, make your choice. Which character has this cool voice? <laughs> Which character has this cool voice? That's your very subtle hint. That the answer is likely related to Gruntilda. The rusty bucket is a tanker. What's stuck underneath its anchor? A silly seahorse. A dumb dolphin. A <laughs> clueless crap. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a dumb dolphin. <laughs> if you run out the timer, it will automatically pick the one that you're hovering over, so... Try not to do that, guys. I cannot lie, I tell the truth. What's hanging from my bedroom roof? I wanna do this one. Captain's cabin in Rusty Bay. What's on the bed? Duvet, I say. Oh. Anchors? Nice. <laughs> I'm not doing it, guys. You probably want me to. And I'm sure Gruntilda wants me to as well, but... No one can win, I was assured by the makers of this board. It's not fair, I want to win. How I longed to be real thin. Now you can take the prize on show, while up the winding stairs I go. You won't catch me, I've made sure. All the credits, you'll now endure. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Me, 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 me! Arr, how about that grotty ugly thing? I think we should take Tootie. That's what I meant. Kazooie. Please can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for one day. Sure, let's get out of this stump. 
<laughs> oh god. Gratilda was right, we do have to endure the credits. And you can't speed it up either. Who among the staff decided that each person would have, you know, big clunker? <laughs> everyone decided everyone would have a nickname based on one of the NPCs. Juju. <laughs> Kieran Conga Connell. Let's see how many of these you guys actually remember. <laughs> That was Brentilda. Oh, do you see there on the right? A little tunnel. <laughs> There's your subtle hint, guys. Captain Blubber. <laughs> Nipper, we almost forgot about you. Cartoony bits and more scribbling. <laughs> Now there's one of the worst nicknames you can have. <laughs> Sandy Butt. The unfortunate part is that because the Xbox game has more, or had more people working on it, it loops. It loops, guys! God, I hate you so much, Boggy. I hate you too, Waza. <laughs> Why did you give so much dialogue to Waza? Oh, it's drunker! Maybe I'll try out my voices. Spellbook, Le Leaky something. I missed that. <laughs> what do you get? What do you get? <laughs> Strange noise makers. Yeah. I'm guessing Toots is the teeny little thing. There's Napper. Anyway, is that Nintendo of America? <laughs> Big cheese, thanks. Yeah, the dolphin has a name, Snorkel. See, there are a lot of NPCs that you don't quite learn their name. And so, even for Grunty's quiz, how are you supposed to know? There's Eerie! Credits for the shinier version, 4J Studios. <laughs> shinier version. Yeah, when it came to the quiz questions, we got a lot related to Click Clock Wood, didn't we? Usually they're, usually they're quite mixed. Um, well, actually, I think we got at least one question about every level. Except maybe Gobi's Valley. But yeah, I do quite enjoy, I do quite like this idea, you know. You get to the end of a game and you basically have to do a quiz on the game itself. <laughs> Not quite like sitting an exam, but it's it's way more fun than sitting an exam. <laughs> Could you imagine if they had something like, that, something like that for, say, Super Mario 64 or... I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine if they did that for Skyrim? Oh god. I think that one would actually demand a guide. <laughs> well, I suppose it sort of factors in here because, you know, there's a lot of fourth wall breaking. You see, it has to go through the credits again because they have to credit the Microsoft guys too. 
And I suppose it's good, you know, if a company defected or changed loyalties like that, then there is a chance that games like this could have just been cast away and never remade, but I'm glad they did. This is a really good game to play. A really good game to watch, the music is good, the gameplay is fun. And even if, you know, folk like myself, if you know the game back to front, it's still fun to play through. I mean, even if I wasn't doing a commentated run, I would I would dig this out again. Same way as well, I'm actually considering uh, digging out Final Fantasy VII. Not for a commentated run. God no. <laughs> It'd be huge. <laughs> I, I leave that stuff to Sega Chief. Also inspired by Video Games Live, I may consider a Chrono Trigger playthrough as well. What's with playing cheese? That's weird. Who are the cat herders? That's what I'm curious about. More bean counters. <laughs> now I guess these guys didn't get nicknames. You could not have run out of NPCs. Or enemies, for that matter. Press Hypnotist. <laughs> now that is a job title. It's still going, guys. Forget finishing the quiz. This is the achievement right here. Did it work? I was just mashing buttons. And knowing my luck, it's going to be something as dumb as just pressing A. It worked! <laughs> I am hoping to God that we don't have to go through the quiz again. Now, unfortunately, we did miss the cutscene where basically everybody's celebrating that they got Tootie back. But of course, Tootie reminds Banjo that, oh yeah, Gruntilda herself got away. So we have some unfinished business. There is a reason why there'd be a warp cauldron so late into the game as the, the final quiz bit. I swear to God, Bull. There, thank you. Now that the quiz has been finished, this entire board is open to us. And if you really wanted to, you could wander about the whole thing and get the extra lives. See, what the hell is with this route here? <laughs> Three squares of death. And then two more there. Yeah, we'll be glad to never have to do that again. And look! There's our two-dimensional audience. Some of which are only vaguely recognizable. Anyway, let's head on up. Brantilda, we're coming for you! There's our last warp cauldron. And here! We have a note door that requires 810. Oof. Basically, at this point in the game, you have to have accessed every level. You can finish the quiz by skipping Rusty Bucket Bay or Click Clock Woods, but not this one. No. No. 
Okay, we've got a jigsaw puzzle over there, a giant locked door, you there, uh, check down through here, <laughs> black clumbo. There was always much debate as to, you know, what's behind these doors. <laughs> But as far as I know, there is nothing at all. This is the machine that would transform Tutti if we got a game over. But yes, let's head back through here. Puzzle me up! It's not over, stupid bear! See my picture over there! To fill it up is no mean feat! Lots of jiggies! Make it complete! How bright they are, you stupid shorts! A target for my dumb cohorts! So we've got four in place so far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, basically, you'd better go back through every level, guys. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm sad to say, down there you'll stop, cause I'm safe here, at the top. Oh look, it's Dingpot! Hello, Dingpot! Phew, what a disgusting smell! Oh, visitors for Dingpot! I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Uh, what does strange birdie thing mean? Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Reggie's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you, nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out. If you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash on in and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there. No way, Dungbox. Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to pick the witch's butt. Let's go. Yeah, poor Dingpot. Dingpot will spout random dialogue as well, if you're wandering about here. And one of them is, he'll say, you know, Have you ever noticed a toilet in here? Exactly. There are none. Poor guy. Okay, last thing to notice is that we have a couple of note doors kicking around. Let's see, this first one here. 864. This is purely for bonuses. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. You did. Sorry, buddy. That tops up our gold feathers! Now, 828. What does this get us? A giant egg! <laughs> oh, yeah. That basically tops up our eggs. Uh, what along here? 882. We'll save that one for last. There uh, should be one on this side. 846. That one tops up our red feathers. Okay, this one here, requiring a whopping 882 musical notes. Can you see a toilet in here, huh? So guess where Grunty goes. I just... Blah. 882. Goodness gracious. And that's us, we've unlocked all the note doors in the game. So what's through this one that requires such a colossal score? One final jigsaw puzzle. And it's a tiny one, it only needs four pieces. Which means overall you have a grand jiggy surplus of two. One, two, three, and four. We just got our health doubled. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yep, 
You can see now our honeycombs are red. If we take damage, they revert back to the yellow ones. So basically we have double the health we had before. It is pretty useful for this final battle. Which I really want to do now. Join me now and dump the bear, that little backpack. Then I'll wear. Not a chance, Gratilda. We're going to liberate your cauldron. Which sounds like a euphemism, but it's not. My name is Andy, thanks for watching my playthrough of Banjo-Kazooie! Oh, all her trash, well, that ends up in me as well. You poor guy. Yeah, next episode, we're gonna free Dingpot and defeat the witch. I'll see you guys then.